All right, let's see if we can build an expert system to implement this decision tree. And the decision tree is all about approving or not approving loans for customers based on a number of questions. You notice the way the tree is arranged. We've got a question or an attribute. Each question has a number of answers or values. And if we follow an attribute value chain down to its logical end, then we have a number of conclusions. In this case, the conclusions are loan or no loan. Let's go and build that as an expert system. You log on to ES Builder and you create a new project. You need to give it a name. I'm going to call this Loan Approver. Universal Discourse. Um, what's this expert system about? It's about loan ap applications. And we can do a whole bunch of other bits and pieces here. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to keep it really brief. Each conclusion, um, the name of each conclusion is, I'm going to call it outcome in this case. And if I had an image for this, I could put the URL there and the starting text. Um, let us determine your loan stability. Save that project, say OK. We should now be able to edit the project, play with the tree. So we've got this basic tree builder here, and it's a bunch of little widgets that allow us to define questions, answers, and conclusions. Our first question, double click on it, what is your income? According to our decision tree, there are three answers. There's only one here at the moment, but we can click on here and we can add another couple of values. So the first value is less than 30k. Second value is between 30k and 70k. And the third value is greater than 70k. So we've got a question and we've got a bunch of answers here. But if you look at each of these questions, there's a little plus sign mentioned in here as well. So we have to actually fill this out as well. The value text less than 30k. We could put notes in here saying less than 30,000 um, means you're in the low income bracket. And if you wanted an image of somebody poor, you could put the image there. Similarly, for each of these, we can go in and make sure that the value text, now some of them automatically fill, some of them don't, but you, do, you should check anyway. Less than 70k. I might just fix that so that it's the same format. Lovely. So for each of these values then, it, are, it leads to another question. And the, the 30k one leads to an, another question, which is an attribute. And that is, do you have a criminal record? Notice, please, it doesn't display all completely. You've got to make sure that that is correct. And you can get, dig into here and check that it's all correct. And you could talk here about what is a criminal record and what constitutes something that would be illegal. And I guess you'd have a, an image of justice or bars or something there. All right. So do you have a criminal record? Now, that's a new question. There are only two answers for that, two values. So you can click on that, add a value, add another value. The first one is going to be, yes, I do have a criminal record. Here is no, I don't have a criminal record. Check that the little values have transferred through. Value, yes, good. Sometimes they do, most times they do, but you do have to check that value text, no, okay. So we've got an attribute, value, attribute, value. This value here then, um, 
do you have a criminal record on less than 30k? If the answer is yes, oddly, the decision tree says a loan is okay for you. So we can put a conclusion there. We can add a conclusion, and that is loan for you. If the answer is no here, you don't have a criminal record and you you are got a very low wage, then we can add, a, add our conclusion as per our decision tree, no loan for you. Notice please now this whole branch here, this value hanging off this attribute has each of its leaves fully resolved. That is, they all lead to a conclusion. Unresolved branches remain noted as I've got a problem here because there's nowhere for the expert system to end up and we have to always end up at a conclusion. In this instance, oddly, the expert system is going to reuse these conclusions because you'll notice the decision tree is just loan or no loan. We're going to be reusing those as we go down through. Let's do the 30k to 70k. That introduces another question. So we add an attribute and the attribute is how many years have you been in the current job? And in this case, we've got three possible answers. So we can go add value. Notice you can't go from an attribute directly to a conclusion. You've got to go via a value. That's just the way the this representation of knowledge works. So how many years in your current job? We'll go less than one, under five, and more than five. Presumably more than five means job security, therefore less risk for the loan. So if you have less than one in your current job, according to this decision tree anyway, you're not allowed to have a loan. So we can go to the conclusion there, no loan for you. And you could put description text in there explaining why it wasn't okay. For the one to five, we have to ask another question, but we can finish up the greater than five because that resolves directly at a conclusion as well. And that is loan for you. The one to five involves another attribute. So hanging off this, we're going to add an attribute, another question. And the question is, do you make your credit card payments on time? And there are two answers here, a yes and a no. Two values, therefore. Add value, add value. The first one is yes. And the second one is no. Hanging off the yes is loan for you. At a conclusion, loan for you. Hanging off the no. So you've been in a job for a long time, but you don't pay your credit cards, which means you're a bad credit risk, presumably, which means no loan for you. We've only got one branch now that's not resolved, and that has to do with whether you have a criminal record or not, and you're in the 70K. So what is your income, 70K? This is the only unresolved branch now. So. Um, we now have to lead from this value to an attribute. And the attribute is, do you have a criminal record? And there are two values on that, yes and a no. Two values. Do yes and no. In the greater than 70k, if you have a criminal record and you earn more than 70k, according to this decision tree anyway, you're not allowed a loan. I don't quite know why, but I'm just implementing the tree. I'm going to go to my conclusion. No loan for you. Whereas the yes, having a criminal record and being rich, for some reason or other, lets you have a loan. Again, I'm not commenting on the morality of the decision tree, just implementing it as given.